Alright guys, what's up? It's Conrad back with another video, and today we are going to be looking at building a very basic AngularJS application just to see what AngularJS is and how easy it is to use. We're not really going to go into the syntax or anything like that. So before we start, I have a blank HTML file called angular.html saved, and now I'm just going to create HTML tags, and then I'm also going to create body tags. Alright, so now that that's done, we have to import AngularJS into our application because AngularJS doesn't come default with JavaScript. We have to call in another file that has AngularJS. So in order to import it into our application, I'm going to open up Chrome. And then inside here, I'm going to go to AngularJS CDN. Just look it up on Google. Click on the first result. It should be on the AngularJS docs. And I'm simply just going to scroll down and you see right here it has script source equals http colon dash dash ajax.googleapi.com and that's what you want to cdn into there so now we have angularjs imported into our application and make sure to put it above the body tags all right so now let's actually start coding in angular so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to open up a div and it's not going to have a class we're going to get rid of that class but instead we're going to have ng dash app equal to a blank string okay and now that that's done inside our div we are going to open up a paragraph and I'm just gonna format those tags right and then inside our paragraph I'm going to put name colon and then we'll have an input box so we'll say name now I'll have an input box and the input type will just be equal to text and we'll do ng dash model and we'll assign the model to the name model so ng dash model equals name and then right below that still in the div we're going to create a new line and we're going to add an h1 and the h1 will be hello comma and then inside two brackets, we're just going to put a name to call on the name model. So whatever is in the textbooks will be assigned, text box will be assigned to the name model, which will be shown in the hello, comma, and then the name. So let's test this out. So I'm going to open up our file that we created with all our Angular code. And now you see there's a text box and there's a blank hello statement. If I put in my name, Conrad, it says hello, Conrad, and it automatically fills out for me. I don't need to reload the page or anything, which is really cool and not something that you can do in a lot of other frameworks, which is what makes JavaScript frameworks so popular, is that it just instantly reloads and refreshes like that. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Also, click here to subscribe to my channel and click here to watch another related video. You can do this even if you're on mobile. It's a new kind of annotation. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.